Hello everyone. So today was a spa day for Tweety where I took care of her beak, her nails and also her feathers. Our birdie friends need to be pampered once in a while and needs to be taken care of. And if um, you do not get vet services for your bird where you stay, then it's important you know how to do them yourself. Today I gave Tweety a little bit of beak trim. I trimmed her claws or nails and I also preened her feathers because it's molting season and if you have seen other videos of Tweety, um, then you would know that she has a constant molting issue where she loses one or two feathers every now and then but now it's molting season so she's losing a bit more of feathers and there are a bunch of new pin feathers which needs to be taken care of so that's what i did so i would just share how i did that so keep watching as you can see Tweety has a lot of uh, pin feathers on her head and neck area and these are the areas of course the bird's beak cannot reach and uh, basically other bird companions help them to preen these uh, feathers pin feathers where out of the casing the new feathers come so the outer casing has to be removed and I'm giving her like a proper spa day, a little bit of massage to make her feel better. And she's calm and she doesn't mind. She actually enjoys preening. And for those who uh, don't want to see this preening part, they can skip to the part where I'm preening or sorry, <laughs> trimming her beak with the grinder. So you can just uh, skip to the part where I'm trimming her beak for the first time so now Tweety is an adult bird and I have to take care of her feathers and nails and also her beak because they essentially grow a lot and uh, unlike the wild birds the uh, their beaks and their claws don't wear down as much because they do not stay in the wild so you can see how I am picking up all the pin feathers and very gently trying to take them out of their casing which is keratin casing and that's all and here i'm trying to show you how pointy and big her beak has become because birds in captivity do not chew as much wood as they chew in the wild no matter how much of toys you give them so their beaks don't wear down and here I'm using a pet nail grinder which you can use for dogs and uh, cats nails and also for birds nails and beaks as well. And I'm going to use a cold pressed organic coconut oil for her beaks and her claws and feet as well for its antimicrobial and antibacterial properties which are very good and also to soothe uh, the beak because I've just uh, grinded it you know trimmed it so uh, you should remember that you should use only cold pressed organic coconut oil and not just any oil and I also ensure that the uh, coconut oil does not touch any of her feathers very carefully I ensure only the beak and the claws uh, just get massaged with the coconut oil and those who have seen 3D's videos they know that she has wonky feet like she's got uh, crooked feet uh, since uh, the time she hatched she's been like this and essentially it doesn't cause her any problem so I'm just hoping that she would have a healthy and long life and even though she doesn't get cracked uh, feet or chapped uh, beak or anything I do use coconut oil once in a while and I haven't shown uh, the nail trimming part in this video because it will get awfully long and I already have another video so if you want to check out how to trim your bird's nails safely and quickly you can check that video out it will be in the description box so that's all for now bye bye